السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته whatever you are whenever you are I wish you have a blessed day today إن شاء الله today I'm talking about something called shivering when somebody shiver because he sees or she sees something uh, shaking their body I remember the, uh, the, the companion of the Prophet وسلم, his name was Saeed ibn Amr Saeed ibn Amr was not a Muslim when the Qurayshites were trying to torture and cut the flesh of the body of Khubayb ibn Adi when they captured him and brought him to Mecca at that time. He was a young man at that time, has nothing to do with Islam. But when he saw the steadfastness and the patience and the cool uh, uh, face of Saeed ibn Amr when he was actually cutting his flesh into pieces before actually killing him. He was trying to differentiate between the bad behavior of the Qurayshite disbelievers and the good behavior and the patience of Saeed ibn Amr in front of him. Then he decided to become Muslim later on and he became Muslim, alhamdulillah. Then he was appointed as a wali or the ruler or the governor of a place called Hims in Syria at the time of Umar ibn Khattab. And the people complained to Umar that, uh, about him and one of the complaint was actually, when he is with us, he had this shivering like uh, somebody have epilepsy. And uh, when uh, Omar uh, asked him about that, he told him the story that actually he failed to support Khubayb ibn Adi at the time of the, he was tortured by the Qurayshite. That's why he never uh, remember the scene of the torture and cutting the flesh of the body of Khubayb ibn Adi. Uh, at the time he shiver and he go to this actually uh, uh, deep uh, coma. And why I'm saying this, because in my history, I've got three shiverings. One, when you do some mistake when you are young and you remember it and you want to repent, you, you have this shivering in yourself when you remember what, how bad you were and how awful you, are, you were. And at that time when I was doing this after prayer, my children ran fast to me said, what's wrong with you, dad? You have an epilepsy or what? But I did not want to tell them to, what happens. It's just nothing to do that. So whenever I remember my mistake, I have this Saeed ibn Amr shivering. The second shivering was, I was in al Hilmiya, uh, living in our house. And our house was, have got three uh, angles. One main, the, the, the front of the house was actually facing the main road. The side of the house facing an avenue called uh, the avenue of Abdullah Bash Azad. And at the back, uh, there was uh, two uh, avenues as well. One to the right for all the houses and one to the left for all the houses. And in the left side, there was a, 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 a man who was actually, uh, yani, no, not disabled, but sick man. But he was married to a so beautiful yani, woman, which is yani, full of life and full of energy. And I believe that the man could not be able to fulfill her right as a wife to him. One day, everybody woke up in the morning, early morning, when a scream of somebody is burning when he's alive, and his hair, his head, his clothes, and they were running and say, help me, help, help me, help me. He was the husband. The story was, what she, this woman decided, they started to have an affair with somebody else, and she decided to burn her husband alive, to kill him, so she can actually have a divorce and go with her uh, boyfriend at the time. But when the man started screaming, everybody came out, saved the man. I'm not sure if, he's, if, if he was saved or, but they arrested the woman and actually, so, and she, she might be put in prison at that time. Whenever I remember this uh, image or this scene of this man burning alive in front of me, I had the same shivering of Saeed ibn Amr Adilan. The second shivering, which was worse than that, in our area, there was something called Al Khidawiya, Al Khidawiya uh, Secondary School, and next to Al Khidawiya Secondary School, a, a proper uh, football playground. And every uh, week, and I go, used to go to, to see the football league between the different schools there. And after I finished, I went out to the main road to go to uh, our house in Al Halmiya. And I saw a young, beautiful boy about the age of five or six or four, something like that, I can't remember, very well dressed, playing in front of the shop, the furniture shop of his grandfather. And the grandfather was so busy at the time to receive a big container of furniture. 
and the container was reversing. It was 40 foot con reversing back and went over the body of the young of the young boy at the time. You see, I am still shivering to remember and seeing what is left over from the body of this young boy. The only thing is left over from his body was his shoes and his ankle. And I'm shocked to remember this. And whenever I remember it, I shiver. Here, the shivering of Saeed ibn Amr towards Khabbab ibn al ibn to Khubayb ibn Aday, and my shivering towards the uh, burning of, of the man or the uh, uh, smashing the body of the young boy. It is because I failed, I failed, I failed to support either of them. Please, whenever you have the chance to support somebody, do not fail them, just spread your hand and hold them by the hand and save them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.